In this quick video, I'll show you how to find the equation of a line passing through two points. The question reads, determine the equation of the line that passes through the points 2 and 5 and 4 and negative 7. Now what you'll need to be successful in this question are the following two formulas. The first one tells you the formula to how to find the slope, and slope is represented by the letter M, and you can use any one of these three formulas. And finally, Below you have the skeleton or the template of a linear equation. So after finding your slope and your y-intercept, you would replace the m and the b with those values and you would end up with your line. So let's start off by finding the slope. My favorite slope formula is this one right here. And to use this formula, you have to label your two points. My first point is here, so I'm going to label this one and I'm going to label this point too. Now, of course, you could have labeled this 2, and you could have labeled this 1, and it doesn't matter, just as long as you're consistent. So, since I labeled this my first point, and this right here represents my x-coordinate, I'm going to call that x1, and of course, every x is paired with a y, so that would be y1. Now, since I called this point 2, this will be x2, y2. So now you understand why I labeled each point 1 and 2. Now I will use my formula, slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to replace my y2 with what was y2, which is negative 7. That minus sign stays the way it is, so I'm going to place it right there. y1 was equal to 5, so I'll replace y1 with 5. Next, my x2 was 4 and my x1 was 2, so 4 minus 2. The next step is to evaluate the top and the bottom. Minus 7, or negative 7, minus 5 is equal to negative 12, and you can confirm with your calculator. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Negative 12 divided by 2 is equal to negative 6. So I just found my slope m is equal to negative 6. The next step is to replace negative 6 into this formula. So we end up with y is equal to, now instead of that m, I'm going to replace it with negative 6. Negative 6x six plus b. I'm almost done. All I need to find is my b value. But how do I do that? Remember the two points that they gave you, this point and this point? Well, you can choose any one of those two points, and usually I like to choose the one where the numbers are smaller, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to choose this set right here, 2 and 5, so I can replace my x with 2 and replace my y with 5. But once again, if you chose this point, it would have been the same. So let's go ahead and replace this 5 with that y. I'm going to replace this x with the 2, so negative 6 times 2, and notice how I placed this 2 in brackets, and the reason why is because when you replace a variable with a number, and that variable is connected to a number, in other words, it's being multiplied, you want to put brackets just so that you can show that they're being multiplied. That's a little tip for you. Plus b. Next, I will evaluate the right side. We have negative 6 times 2, which is negative 12, plus b. If you rearrange this formula and solve for b, you end up with 5 plus 12, bringing this 12 over. 5 plus 12 is 17, which is equal to your b value. And lastly, what we do is bring together everything that you found, which in our case is m and b, and plug them into y is equal to mx plus b. This m represents negative 6, and this b represents 17. y is equal to negative 6x plus 17. And there you have it. That is how to use two points to generate an equation of a line. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.